Wait! They want to talk to you. I have nothing to say to you. Listen to us. Spanado! Wait! Spanado! Don't sell me. Come on. We are all very sorry, but there's nothing you can do now. He killed my husband. He murdered him! Piano. Piano. that there was going to be trouble in Denver's north side. Now, here it was, murder. That man, he killed my husband. <laughs> my name's Smith. I know who you are. What about him? I'm Enrico Spinato. I shot him. He and another man, they tried to kill me. Any idea why? <laughs> Fabricatore! He's a liar! He's a liar! Smitty, you better get him out of here. Come on, let's get him! <laughs> What's the name of the man that was shot? Carlo and Selmy. Give me the gun. Three shots missing. Who saw what happened? Felipe. Felipe! Tell them. I, I am Philippe uh, Carmate. I am brother-in-law to Carlo. Uh, Carlo and Salmi. Tell them. Uh, in in that, that saloon, this man, Spinato, he, he started a fight to us. When we leave, he follow us. That's not true. Then he tried to shoot me, but he missed. Then he tried to shoot Carlo, but uh, he don't miss. You have a gun? Oh, no. No, sir. And Carlo, he have no gun either. You check that, George. No gun on the dead man, Smitty. I tell you, he fired at me first. You were standing right here? That's right. And he was there? Yes. <laughs> Bullet. Suppose we let the law decide that. Let's go, Spinato. That's all of it. Romack went out to see Mrs. Anselmi. Told him to pick Carmada up and bring him back here. I want to talk to him some more. What for? From what you told me in your report, you've got your man. Spinato killed him in cold blood, shot him in the back. You got plenty of witnesses. Come in. Is that 
gentlemen. Sam? I could have known the Denver press had come poking its nose in here. Well, news travels fast, especially when there's a murder involved. Thought I'd try to find out what you know that I don't. Well, it's all here in Smitty's report. What do you know about it, Sam? Nothing much, except that something's been boiling in that section of town for some time now. I'm trying to find out what it is. Well, you know all about that. When you find out just what that something is, let us know. You think Spinato's guilty? Put words in my mouth. Save him for your editorials. It's not our job to try him. What do you think, Smitty? Don't have all of his story yet, Sam. I'd like to know a little more about him. He's got a job in court. He's an interpreter. He translates for his people. Mm-hmm. Don't go hanging him in your newspaper now before he's tried. I won't. Mind if I take these? Mm, not if you bring it back. I'll bring them back. And if you should find out what that something is before uh, the... I'll go back to your newspaper. Good day, gentlemen. I think I'll do the same thing. What, go over to the newspaper? No. A couple of papers of my own I want to look up. Like I said before, this is an open and shut case. How do you feel? I feel fine. I want to thank you for saving the life of an innocent man. You want to tell me how it all started? Well, I... I stopped in the saloon for a glass of wine. These two men, the ones they call Anselmi and Camarta, they came in together. You ever seen them before? No, they were strangers to me. Then they took positions at the bar, one on each side of me. This Anselmi, he started to crowd me. I asked him, please, do not do this. And he pushed me. Then Camarte, he grabbed me from behind by the shoulder. I hit him in the face, and then I hit the other one. What happened then? I left the bar, and they followed me. Then Camarte said, wait, we want to talk to you. I continued to walk. Then Anselmi, he fired a shot at me. I drew my gun, and I fired twice. Well, you know what happened after that. You say you fired twice, yet there were three bullets missing from your gun. Yes, I know, there would be three. You see, this morning, I, I fired a shot at the coyote on the outskirts of town. Anybody see you? No, not that I know of. I guess things look bad for me, huh? Yeah, yeah I'm afraid they do. All freshly clean. Where'd you find it? In his house. Wife told me where it was. Did you say anything about that argument in the saloon? Didn't know a thing about it. What about Kamada? He just seems to have disappeared. And nobody knows a thing about him. Smitty, I never talked to so many people with such bad memories in my life. Randy, did you ever hear Take of Take a look at this, Chief. Bullet that dug out of that sack fits on Salmi's gun. This bullet could have come from any gun of the same caliber. What are you trying to prove? That Spinato was telling the truth? The two men tried to murder him? But why? Tell me why. Well, give him a chance. That's what he's going to find out. He shot him in the back. Spinato explained that to me. First shot spun him around, second hit him in the neck. There were three shots fired. He told you, he told you, Chief. Don't you listen to Will nothing. Will you stay out of this? Well, take it easy, you two. I suppose you believe Spinato's story, too, about firing a shot from his gun at a coyote. What are you going to do, get the coyote to testify? Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> Very funny, Chief. I thought I told you to stay out of this. I imagine you, uh, found a lot about the case in these newspapers. Did you ever hear of an organization called the Mafia? The Mafia, it's a, a bunch that's been operating in New York. And several other big eastern cities. Near as I can figure out, they first came to this country about eight, nine years ago. What's this Mafia you two are talking about? Well, originally it was a patriotic organization in Sicily. 
Form to fight their enemies, the French, Spanish, and Austrians. Well, I don't see anything wrong in that. No, except after they won their freedom, they stuck together, but they went undercover. Ever since then, they've been fighting their own countrymen. Well, why would they do a thing like that? Money, power, what else? Looking for some sort of connection? It could be. They always follow their own people, create all kinds of trouble among them, like rats eating into a corn bin. I think I'm going to mosey around over on the north side. Somebody just might have seen Stenato shoot at that coyote. In case he's on to anything, you stick with him, huh? Don't you worry about a thing, Chief. Huh? I'll look after him. The Mafia's moved into Denver. We'll need the whole army to look after him. We looked everywhere for Kamara. We couldn't find him. While looking for him, we questioned everyone we met to find out if anyone had seen Spinato shoot a coyote that day. Nobody knew anything about a coyote being shot that morning. There was no sign of a dead one. And no one would admit to seeing Kamada. Spinato doesn't stand a chance if we don't dig up a witness. The jury's gonna figure he fired all three shots at Insomni. Notice anything strange about all these people we've been talking to? If only that they all seem scared to death. How do you figure it? You know how I figure. The Mafia? Let's go by the press and have a talk with Sam. Hello, Smitty. George? Sam? Uh, you two don't look very happy. Nothing to be happy about, Sam. You dug up anything new? No, nobody seems to know why that fight started. You still feel it was more than a quarrel in a saloon? Well, don't you? Yeah. I may be wrong, but I think the Mafia's mixed up in this. Mafia? If they are, it's the first time they've come this far west. Well, I'd hate to see them move into Denver. Well, they're here, Sam, like a bunch of rats eating up a corn crib. Sam, suppose Spinata was trying to stand up to them. Suppose he was trying to help his people stand up to them. What do you think would happen? They'd want to kill him. Exactly. Now, look, I'd like for you to print this notice. I'm asking anyone that knows anything about that shooting to get in touch with me. Be glad to. Obliged to. Sam? Thought you might want to see this. The woman wants me to put it in the paper. English Gypsy, Madam Ida Martin. Fortune teller, healer, seventh daughter of a seventh daughter born with a veil. In trouble, see this gifted lady. Rheumatism, pneumonia cured. Future foretold. Interested, George? <laughs> Just what I need. One, three, two, six, Granite Place. Why show this to me? She left this note for you. Said she'd read the notice I published. Beware the Ides of March. Ides of March? What's that mean? It's from Shakespeare. The warning of death. Uh -huh. That's been my curse. I was once a great Shakespearean actress. Did you send this? I have another curse. I, I can't mind my own business. Then you did send it. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't want to get into any trouble. The only trouble you're going to get into is if you know something that'll help save Spinato's life and you don't tell us. He's a good man. He's trying to help his countrymen. What makes you say that? Do you know Kamata? Yeah, we're looking for him. Did you ever see any of my performances? No, ma'am, I'm afraid not. Oh, the stage was my life. Out, out 
grief can... Life's but a necessary... Oh, you. You remind me of one of my leading men. Me? Long since gone from the face of this earth, but I'll never forget his Polonius. His what? I can hear him now, speaking to his son Laertes. Beware of entrance to a quarrel. But being in, bear it that they oppose may beware of thee. Well, I'm sure that's excellent advice, Madam Martin, but... I, I also played Calpurnia to his Caesar. Well do I remember him standing there as he said, of all the wonders that I yet have heard. It seems to me most strange that men should fear, seeing that death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Madam Martin, are you trying to warn me about Kamata? Kamata? Oh, Kamata often comes to see me. He believes in the stars and wonders about the future. Oh, he was here last night. He's a simple, superstitious man. He's frightened to death. What's he afraid of? He's afraid of the Mafia. Mafia? He's also afraid of me. I can always make him tell the truth. How much would it be worth to hear what he told me? It might be worth a man's life. Enrico Spinato helped me once. I guess it's my turn now. Carmata said they wanted Spinato to change words in interpreting before the court. Changed words? In what way? When he was translating for his people, the Mafia wanted him to change certain words, change the meaning of what the people had to say. Why? So the police would not know the Mafia had come here. So that the Mafia could frighten the people into paying money not to be beaten and killed. Spinato refused to lie for them. How does Anselmi figure in this? Kamata said that Anselmi was one of the Mafia. And what about Carmata? He's one of them, too. He and Anselmi were ordered to kill Spinato. But Anselmi's gun, I found it in his house. Mrs. Anselmi picked it up when she kneeled down beside her husband's body. She hid it in his clothes for you to find. I also know about the third shot fired from Spinato's gun. It is true that he killed a coyote yesterday. Carmata said they buried the coyote so that no one would know that Spinata told the truth. I figured this about what happened. When Spinata tells the truth, others will come forward and also tell the truth. If he comes here again, do you think you can frighten him into talking some more? I'm sure of it. I can always make him afraid of the future. Good. You let us know what he tells you? Thank you. Hey, Smitty. You know, I can tell her future without a crystal ball. She's going to drink herself to death one of these days. <laughs> Look into the crystal ball. Look into the shadows of the future. Look closely. See yourself in the future. What do you see? I'm afraid to tell you. No, no, no. Please. Please tell me. You are in danger, Carmato. You are running from the Mafia. They shoot at you. They're trying to kill you. What can I do? Can I change my future? Yes. If you will change the present, you can save yourself. The truth will save you. You must speak truth. Truth. Look into the crystal. Lift the veil of the future. Protect yourself from vengeance and death. Write the truth, or see yourself in the future murdered. No, no, they made me lie. The truth now, or death in the future. Speak. Yes, yes, I will speak. Basta! That is enough, Carmata. 
Kamata. Kamata does not speak. But you, Madam Martin. You will be the one who will do the writing. Write what I say. Right. Mrs. Anselmi will tell you where you can find Kamata hiding from the friends of Spanato. Sign it. This is to your friend from the police. Sign it. Give it to me. You will give this to some kid. Tell him to deliver it to Detective Smith. Understand? Kamish. You will be waiting in the house to then sell me. You will be waiting there to be arrested. Go on. Go on. Look in the crystal ball, Madame Martin. Tell me, what do you see? Do you see your own death? Can't tell me this to give to you, Smitty. Do you think Ramada could be hiding out at Anselmi's? I think there's a better than even chance, George. Let's go. On the back, George. Don't let anybody out. Okay. Morning, George. I was told I could find Mr. Kamata here. Before he kills me. Oh, man! Oh, Philippe! Oh, Philippe! Smitty, you all right? He was waiting for us just like I figured. How'd you know? A note from Madame Martin. Look at the way she signed her name. Ides Martin. Ides Martin? Yeah, that's right. It was a warning. The Mafia, they made me tell those lies. And now I do, like Madame Martin told me. I'm going to speak the truth. Madame Martin was right. She'd said that when Kamada told the truth, others would also be willing to tell the truth about what was going on. That's all it took to drive the Mafia out of Denver. People not being afraid to tell the truth about them. That put an end to all the trouble we'd been having on the north side.